Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today we see the what? The first flip flop conversion. All right. So number one, let's say we can converting flip flop. All right. Converting SR flip flop. Let this be the heading. Converting SR flip flop. And let the subheading be first we convert it to JK and the JK that we uh, we assume in this case is the master slave JK that the output will only be toggling it will not be raising now from the steps you have the available flip-flop is what the available is uh, SR available is SR and the required is JK now what to do next the second step is to make the characteristic table of the required flip-flop for this you have to make the characteristic table and for the available flip-flop you have to make the excitation table all right available uh, Required characteristic, all right. Characteristic. Now, I hope you 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 know these, all right. So available is SR. So you make the excitation table for SR, where you have this QN, QN plus one, and you have S and R, where you have zero zero, zero one one zero and one one. And the outputs are what? 0x10, 0x10, uh, 1, and x0. This is the, the, the excitation table, all right? And the characteristic table for JK is what? So, so first you have the inputs to that. You have the inputs QN, uh, you have J, you have K. So these are the three inputs, all right? And the next state is the output, QN plus one. So you have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And finally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let me copy it down from the book. It's a double zero, triple one, double zero, triple one, zero, one, zero, yes? Yes. Now you do what? You match QN and QN plus 1 from the characteristic table with the excitation table. I told you that we will be making changes in this particular table, which means I have to now draw with the characteristic table. I draw what? I draw a column for S and I draw a column for R. All right. Now, depending on the values of this QN and QN plus one, which means the present state and the next state, I will be determining the values of the present inputs S and R with the help of this particular excitation table. All right. Let me write it over here that this is the excitation table. And this particular is the characteristic table. And now we are making changes to this characteristic table with the help of that excitation table to obtain the new form of SNR. Now have a look from there. And we, we, we see the inputs over here. When 0, 0, so we have 0 and x, don't care. So you have a 0, you have a don't care. Then the next, then again 0, 0, so again 0 and don't care. Now 0, 1, so you have a 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, so it would be x, 0. 1, 0, so 0, 1. 1, 1, x, 0. 1, 0, so uh, 1, 0 is again 0, 1. So this is what now? This is the, this table is called the combinational table. Because here we have combined some properties of the characteristic table and some properties of the excitation table. This is called as the combinational table. Combinational table. 
Okay? Now you, you find the values for S and R using K maps, all right? So let's say for S, so we have what? We have a, uh, we have an eight cells map, all right? This is the, let's say the eight cells map. Okay. We have the inputs uh, Q, N, J, and K. We have the inputs Q, N, J, and K, and the combinations are like this. Okay, now filling them up. So, 0011, 0011, X0, 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 X0. Is that fine? Now, now you see we can have a single group of ones, okay, uh, by combining this group. This is the only group that we can have, all right? So, which means that S is equal to what? Uh, Q and complement and then J. So, S is Q and complement times J. Now, for K we draw, we draw for K as well, the same eight cells map. Q, N, J, K. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Now you fill them X, X, triple zero, X, X, triple zero, one, zero, one. Again, the only group of ones is this one. And we have the value for, for, for R. The value for R is what? It's QN and it's K. QN times QN and it with a K. Yes, it is. And now you do what? The final step was, the final step was to draw the logic diagram for which, let's say, I remove this part of it, okay? Okay. This is removed. And now, the available flip-flop is the SR flip-flop. So let this be the SR flip-flop. You have the inputs S, you have the inputs R, you have the output Q, and you have Q complement. All right. And you have the clock. Fine. And uh, now what do you have? S would be equal to Q in complement and it with a J. And R would be Q in complement, Q and and it with a K. So, so let's say, so, so which means we have to require AND gates over here. We require AND gates. All right. So over here we have the J. And over here we have the K, all right? And, and now you give it a what? You give it a QN, all right? QN is given over here. And this QN complement is also ended with the J. So this is what? Now this we have converted the SR flip-flop into a JK flip-flop. Now you give them the inputs, it will be operating as a JK flip-flop, which means it will be toggling the input. All right? Okay, so I believe we see the next uh, conversion uh, in the next video, right? Because I think that uh, I see I, uh, we will make them individually because then it will take time, all right? A lot of time in these longer videos and then boring. So see you in the next one. Take care, goodbye.